it, it gets a little tricky and this is just something we're all gonna have to learn as a team like as we go it's gonna be a fucking trial and error process the other thing is this website could call into our bdg bucket that i'm building where we have user information user email then we can send emails from there regarding the sleeper stuff and then like yeah. We'd have some visibility of what's going on, who's being invited to ship based on their BDGE username as opposed to it being from this website, right? So if they're sending the email to Sleeper, we have no connection between the two things. We can't really understand it. Yeah. So if they're calling us over here, we're a box over here, we can send the email out and say like, oh, this is a motherfucker that's in this Sleeper League specifically. Very special, uh, sp special action being taken right now. This is the first time I'm using this mug in the new office. I was gonna wait to make a giant margarita, but we're gonna mix together Monster Energy Ultraviolet. It's not purple flavors, ultraviolet. Also the best, the best monster mixer with alcohol, purple with vodka. And we're gonna mix it with uh, Gatorade Zero orange flavor. What I'm looking at is basically electrolytes versus electricity. We're talking about caffeination versus hydration equals monetization. That looks so fucking nasty. Oh my God. That was a great pour, by the way. I wasn't really looking. Come here, animal, look at this. You didn't even like measure it, you just went all in all. No, no measure. No, 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 come here though. Like, come here. Look how fucking perfectly done this was. I poured both to the fullest and look where it ended up on the fucking, it looks so, so good. Oh wait, that's not a color, that's the color. What? I thought that was a colored mug. Like no, 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 that, it's like brown That's, color. That looks like orange and purple. Yeah, it's not like a good drink, man. I bet he was. Also, you probably should have like done a little bit of both and like tasted it and like made it better as you went along instead of just, you know, hundo, hundo on each. <laughs> it doesn't taste like whatever it looks like. Uh, we'll start off by saying that. Uh, it tastes, uh, it just tastes like this. It doesn't actually taste like the monster. Oh, I'm gonna dominate this afternoon after I finish this. You know how much money I'm gonna make for this fucking company? Someone's gotta do it. Nick, what do you think about this caption? What's the video? It's the us coming up late. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I mean, like, good, right? <laughs> sure. All right, cool, I'll do it. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm apartment shopping in Manhattan right now because my, my lease at my current apartment's up at the end of next month and the market is unlike any market I've seen before. It's, it's worse than the fantasy football market right now. I'm going to places where like, like you legitimately need to airdrop a bed into the bedroom in order to fit a room in there. They're like, yeah, $4,000 a month in the, in the nicest part of Manhattan. They're all like, oh, this is such a cozy apartment. Like the smaller the fucking apartment is, the cozier they list it at. I'm twisted in the brain and I can't leave. I can't leave New York City. It's like those corny ass sayings where it's like, New York or nowhere. And like, I won't admit that that's exactly how my brain and my heart feel because then I just become one of those people, you know? Maybe I should just go back to New Jersey. Edit that out. I didn't mean that. I'll never go back to New Jersey. Dude, you're uh... You can put like words like when he says like... Like your computer is really fucking fast. Like, what do you mean? Look, when I went on it yesterday to post... <laughs> remember when you left and I was like, I'll stay to post your shit? Yeah. It's so fast. I know. How much did it cost to build that? Like two grand. Pretty Sheesh. much even. Sheesh. Maybe we should just have you... How long did it take? To build it? Yeah. Like an hour and a half maybe. Really? Yeah. Damn. My motherboard I think could handle it. The motherboard. Talk a little bit more about motherboards. Um, it's the powerhouse of the computer. Like the mind <laughs> <country. laughs> <laughs> Tony, click that. Put like giant and on my desk and a mouse pad. Tony. Nice. Gonna be that, like is, that. that is gonna be a sick mouse pad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were talking about how there's going to be a point in time, we're going to get to that, that day where you go out for lunch and people are like stopping you in the street being like, oh my god, is this what you're getting? And people are going to be like <laughs> tweeting photos, people are going to be like sharing.
on fucking social media just being like, oh my God, I, I know what it is, I know what it is. Ike, have you seen Gossip Girl? No. Well, okay. Well, Gossip Girl is basic. I'm not going to explain what fucking Gossip Girl is. Please all, tell us all about the show. Yeah, all, really. the, all, all the real ones out there have seen Gossip Girl, but they have like, uh, it's like this anonymous person who writes about the high, high school and the shit that's going on in the high school and everyone like submits shit. So they'll submit pictures and this could become Gossip Eats. We'll have <laughs> Gossip, Gossip Eats. From like, all around New York City. Be like, just saw like a 42nd and 9th going into Ch Chipotle. You'll be like a deep fake. You're going to go into Chipotle, walk out the back. <laughs> come out with like a fake bag, bag nothing in it. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to Uber Eats to the Chipotle, but it's going to be McDonald's Uber Eats. Yeah, People I, are going to be buying We're giving products. you way too many ideas right now. I don't like this. People are going to be like, no, no, no. Let me get it. It'd be my honor if I could buy you your lunch <laughs> yeah, for yeah, today. Yeah, one day, dude. So. You my honor could be fucking like deep fake the boys. <laughs> Here's a bag of McDonald's with a burrito inside. <laughs> this is fucked up. Dude, this is a whole other be like, I made you lunch. Please give me back. <laughs> <laughs> Please give me a shout out. Yeah. I put my love into this fucking meal. Can you film him? How he's? Oh, now it's not as cool. Never mind. Well, shut up. You think you're the Am I the first guest? A BBG? Uh, maybe? I think so. I like, um, I like the fits today. I like the... Used to not be skinny jeans that Max had. I'm working on it. <laughs> Got a couple pounds already. Dude, what do you think? I think I think the the steroid cycles gonna be a thing. So I'm gonna be. Uh, are you gonna take steroids? No, we no, all are. Like, you can't be employed unless you take I'm steroids. I'm fucking in. I know. Just I'm a month. Like, like, do we have a, a steroid hookup? No. Like we tried to get them and after we. I feel like you used to have a steroid hookup. It wasn't. It was just like some dude who said like, "Hey, these are steroids." And I was like, like, "All right, we cool." Go, we just gotta go to the gym one time, and we did just find the biggest dude. You're just like, oh, you're like dude, we should have some steroids today. You can just go to the doctor and get a testosterone problem. No, you can't. Plus, it's hella expensive. No, just dude, you need to be, yeah. dude, First of all, steroids in general are expensive. You, dude, you need to be like, look, they need to run hella tests on you for testosterone. Dude, you go to the right doctor, you get a little low T, they give you a little T, you're good. What about you? Just get you have to test for a little fucking T. It's fine, eat like some fucking soybeans before you go in. Is that what I uh, Fuck you guys. So, so yes, yeah, so like the way we portray ourselves through the content is, is important. The most, the single most important part of this entire thing is actually documenting what happens inside of here. And not strictly from like an entertainment standpoint, but I want like the story of what happens in here to be like an all time fucking story. I, like, I really believe in my heart of heart that we could be so much bigger that I, I feel like we haven't started yet. Like we I mean, literally we haven't started yet. You know what I mean? Like th there, there's, I want this story to be one of the coolest fucking stories ever. And there's, I mean, there's three parts to every story, right? There's a beginning, there's a middle and an end. The beginning part I already wrote, right? Like as soon as we stepped in here, then we, ch we closed the fucking chapter on the beginning of BDGE. But the middle is where everything happens, right? And we need everything documented. We need every, I want to look back in 10 years and being like, yeah, we have all of this film. Like in 10 years, we could be one of the biggest media brands in the fucking world if we really wanted to be. We do it through the depth of the content and like the real, real, accountability and transparency of who we fucking are as people so everything that we do like ask yourself like be proud of the fucking work you do here you know what i mean like don't put some shit work together be proud be like i made this shit like am i expressing myself of who i am through this piece of content that i'm putting out right now you know what i mean like don't fucking if you're in a mood where you're just like i'm not feeling it right now don't push it all right like if you ever need to like come and talk to me about that stuff if you feel burnt out, if you feel any sort of way, like come to me. Like I've been doing this for a long fucking time. So I've been through the trials and tribulations of this kind of lifestyle that gets hectic. There's no, it's tough because there's no end point to what we're doing. You know, you just like continuously pile up stuff and hope good things happen along the way. There's no like reports to be filed. There's no black and white ending to what we're doing here. We're just putting the best work out we possibly fucking can and hope good things come from it. I, I just want everyone to think about that daily. Like every time you're working and every time you're doing something, make sure it maps back and being like, I want to express the best version of my fucking self every single time I'm working on something, okay? And that's where real inspiration comes from. You guys reference Barcel all the time and I'm as big of a fan of Barcel in terms of how they operate as a company as anyone out there. They're an entertainment value brand. And if we try to do the same thing that they're doing, we, you automatically become, the, if you try to be somebody else, you become the second best at that because no one can be as good as someone's true fucking self. Barcel is going to be looked back at as probably 
the most successful, impactful media brand of our generation, if not the last fucking 50 years, we can be just as impactful, maybe not size-wise or revenue-wise, but like really deep-wise with the people that we provide content to. Like really, really opening up and being able to relate to people is way more impactful than doing things just for the masses, just to say, oh, we're just doing this to get likes and views and for the masses. You know, like the impact will go so much further. It's the reason why we're not the biggest like YouTube channel out there, but we're gonna make just as much money as fucking anybody out there. You know what I mean? Because it's the deep shit that we're putting out to do that, right? I always think back to that when we're, when we're working, when we're in here, when it's getting later, when we have a big project, like some shit that you don't wanna do, like we have to push through that. We have to show up every single fucking day if we wanna make this work. Like I put an unrelenting amount of work into this and if we all match that energy, like there's no fucking telling where this thing can stop, man. So if you guys, you know, you come to me and you're like, I need this or like, can we get this? If I don't answer you or like do it for you, it's not because I think it's a bad idea. It's not because it's personal. It's literally just cause like I forgot. So I'll tell you like, yeah, like I'll tell you on the spot. If you come to me with an idea or you're like, I need this, I'll be like, no, or I can't get that for you. Right. And then that's dead. End of story. If I come to you, you say that I'm like, cool. And then like three days later, some shit, you're like, what's going on here? It's because I forgot. So you, you guys, knowing that's how I operate, need to be accountable to stay on top of me too. Understand that we all have a different dynamic when it comes to working together and use that to our advantage, all right? So bounce off of each other. We're all very, very different in terms of like the talent and the resources and shit that we bring. But again, like I need you guys to be proactive about your jobs. I can't always be the one like looking into that shit. If you wanna get better at your craft, if you wanna learn and really take this fucking company to the next level, you need to be the one that's like, yo, I want to do this. And then you come to me. And that's where that last part came into play. Right? Like, I can't be the one setting all this shit up. We need to move. Like, I don't, you don't work for me. Like we work together, right? We work with each other. I know I was like joking when you guys came in the first, the first day being late. And like, obviously you guys are gonna miss the train sometimes. It's not gonna show up, but just overall, like accountability is something that we all need to have as well. Like this is just straight up life. Like I don't, anything that goes wrong, I, I, I will never ever blame another person. Like if you guys fuck something up, I would never blame you to the outside. Like I hired you. It's a horrible, horrible mindset to have. So when you start, problem, yeah, when you start taking accountability for like everything that you do, your life becomes a lot easier because you say, oh fuck, like I did that. How do I move forward? How do I change? How do I make it better going forward, right? So accountability, if we have the core value, we fucking TikTok, Splenda, accountability, for real. Like everybody <laughs> is in this shit and they have to understand that like you're responsible for doing your stuff. This, this brand and this company obviously means everything to me. It's, it's the only thing I've done for like the last fucking six, seven years or whatever. And this is a manifestation of that. And like, you know, for the most part, I built it myself up until probably like a year or two years ago. Um, and we've moved slowly together. But now that we're like here, I, I think over the next, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, like in three years, we'll be the biggest brand in the fantasy space. Yeah. Like who wants to just stay there? Like, I, I don't at all. PG media, baby. Exactly. That's yeah. why we're a fucking media company now. If you guys come across like a, an idea or a plan and you're like, this is like, maybe I'm showing a little bit too much. Maybe I'm feeling fucking weird. Like this is a little bit too outside of the box. That's when you know you're going down the right fucking path. Because if you're feeling weird about something, it just means that it's not normal. It means it hasn't been done before. If you're doing something that hasn't been done before, that's exactly where you want to be. That's how you innovate. That's how you become the fucking brand that people look up to. The weirder, the fucking better here, man. Yeah, that's it. We'll have our individual meetings, I think. If you want to just come in like this. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to... Uh, this is my first ever meeting. This is crazy. Like a face-to-face -face meeting with somebody? Like uh, from the, yeah, from like the- From the boss's From the chair? official side, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're taking over to, basically what I wanna talk about in these is the actual like tangible assets that each person is gonna be delivering each week. Mm -hmm. um, and for the most part, you guys know, especially like you and Tony, you know, kinda know what you're gonna have in store. Yeah, so I mean, they're basic, obviously they're fantasy, there's, they're, like I try to not make them cut and dry, but um, yeah, do your do your best to like be creative with them. Do your best to, you know, again, like the same way that you're super funny, like editing the bagels and locks things, like add in any creativity you want to the fantasy videos. I try not to make them like too long. Every once in a while they go up to like 30 minutes and shit. So I apologize for that shit, but I'll try to keep them, you know, 10 to 15 minutes for the most part. Vlogs is probably like the more important aspect of this conversation. As I said out there in the original, meeting we just had. Um, I think that's going to be one of, if not like the most important aspects of what we're doing here. The weekly vlog. The weekly vlog. Just capturing and documenting like what goes on inside of um, the office. And like I said, it's going to be a lot of randomness and it's going to be capturing funny things that happen. 
but our goal again is to have it. The goal of these vlogs is not to just like make a 30 minute video of funny shit that happened in the office. The goal of the vlog, the North star of the vlog is to tell the, is to show the journey of us as a company. Yeah, dude. Well, I'm excited to fucking have you on the team. Um, me too, man. So Very that's, excited. that's the, that's the first meeting. Good. There we go. Uh, this is, your, this is my second ever official meeting. Second ever? Yeah. This, this was my first my first meeting I've ever had with a fucking employee. Yeah. It's sick. I like the setup here, it's like you got the desk and you on your like almighty I was thinking about going like this. <laughs> so you, can, you couldn't see me. Yeah. It's just like talk. It's like you could just be a council at this point. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay, so basically this this meeting is um for discussing the actual like tangible assets that I expect you to be delivering either on a daily or weekly basis, uh, as well as some things that I think we need to add into our bags a little bit and, and become a little bit more versatile, like just as a brand, not really you individually. You have been like a really, really big help to me, like personally in this company, in this brand. Your, your work ethic is like very, um, it's commendable. It's not something that you find often. So like, I, I appreciate that. And if, if I'm like always being a fucking ass, asshole to you or like hard on you, it's only because I know that you like, you're capable of a lot. It feels like from my standpoint, you have high standards for me. I do. And I want to, I want to keep them there. Good. Yeah. Cause yeah. I mean, listen, like I said before, none of us are expert at anything and like yeah. talent is very overrated in like almost every fucking job. You'll, you'll get as good as what you're doing as, as the amount of work that you put in, you know? And like, like I said, your work ethic's really fucking good. So you can be, you can do anything you want, you know? Like I, I'm only gonna be able to keep you in a video editing role for so long. Like I, I can already fucking see that. Um, but like, I appreciate the work that you're doing. Like you have no questions asked, you know, it's like whatever you need to be done, you just, you just get it done. Um, so I wanted to start off with, you know, words of confidence, <laughs> just let you know how much I appreciate what you've done. Well, um, I I appreciate you giving me the opportunity. Let's go. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make big things happen here. Let's talk about deliverables. I mean, you know, video wise, what you have to do with Noah and myself. Uh, the TikToks are going well for the time being. So you do one individual video of mine. What I want from that are two vertical videos from each of those. What I want is for sure at least one meme a day on Twitter. All right. You're getting good on Twitter with those. And I want those, I want that posted on Twitter and Instagram. Okay. Okay. So meme, Twitter, Instagram, seven, seven memes a week. Minimum. All right. Meme, um, meme of the day. Me, yes. Meme of the day. Um, I think, I think that's it. If you have any questions or I don't know how the meetings are supposed to end. <laughs> I don't know either. Um, good. That's, that's it. Okay. Cool. Sweet. All right. Well, thanks for coming in. Sounds good. Feeling like a like a mother like a fucking boss, like a CEO. We don't need. We don't need. Yeah. So these meetings basically are uh, just to, like outline ba the the like tangible assets that I see each person kind of delivering, whether it's on like a daily, monthly, or weekly basis. Um, and with you, I mean, you're in you're in a different like spot than those two because yeah. they have like obviously daily deliverables that they need to do, and yeah. you're our creative sharp or creative director. Um, so, what I kind of imagine you doing is we're gonna have a set of projects in the pipelines, right? Whether it's working with a specific company or it's product related or it's event related, the live draft, the big dog bash, all of these things. And I'm gonna top level give you my idea for them. And then it's going to be your job to create um, videos that we want for them that are introductions to the world, uh, you know, promotion and marketing for the event or the product or whatever mm -hmm. it is, as well as thinking of ideas to keep things engaging and fresh while that event product or whatever is live. Okay. So as I told you, like the bash mm -hmm. is going to be a huge yeah, project for us. So we're going to need hype up videos, like obviously an introduction video. We're going to need other videos throughout the summer that are 
focus on like what it, marketing for that exactly yeah and then you're gonna need to start thinking about like in season what are some creative ways that we can actually keep the league and the members engaged is it giving away prizes based on like fun weekly submissions you know giving away prizes based on like the worst sit start decisions that we saw in the entire league like fun things that like you know nothing's really off the board like what's interactive make- like with uh, get the fans more involved kind of exactly i want to do some work for our sponsors Obviously, those are going to be fun. Those are just obviously just like videos that have a chance of you know going viral or just, just showing the promoting world the brand or the product and stuff. Yeah, what it also does is it opens up our portfolio into things that we could do. That's like that's like kind of how I see this going. And then like you could take your role to whatever height you want it to be. Like you're going to take this like again. I'm focused on my content. Yeah, you're going to be looking at like the creative direction of the brand overall. You know, so it's like it's not gonna be minimized to just these three to five minute clips. Yeah. You can have an idea for something else that's like much bigger. Like you can have an idea that's like literally the draft weekend. Yeah. Like, dude, we should do this live event or some mm-hmm. shit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. So those are the ideas I want you thinking of. I guess no daily deliverables. Um, once we start the content. Going, yeah, once we have like some type of, I feel like right now it's, it's harder to gauge, but like once we have a set schedule, yeah. it'll be a lot easier to really like nail down the specifics. But yeah, as of like right now, like right now I've just been focused on trying to like build the office, and yeah. like push it together. But uh, yeah, there are like times where I'm sitting around, I'm sitting there doing nothing, like, fuck, what should I do? But like. Yeah, I mean, it's tough for you right now. It's not like unexpected, obviously. Yeah, it's because they're like editing shit. I'm just like, I don't mm-hmm. want to bother them. But yeah, no, I'm not worried about that once we get going. Yeah, so that was, that was just the overall direction. Like, I need you to kind of be my right hand man when it comes to like pushing this brand forward. That's kind of what I was going to say, too. Like, as far as like anything that's like undiscussed right now, that's the shit that like pops up and like you just like don't have time, you want like me to deal with it, just let me know. Like, okay. I could pretty much like as far as except for like your business calls and shit like that i can handle anything else like for the most part like just tell me one time and i'll 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 be on it for you yeah i appreciate that what i'm thinking is like we can set up a maybe like a weekly meeting where you and me sit down and it could be like you updating me on things and then then maybe like maybe it's like a uh, 15 minutes half hour of you updating me on like plans or ideas or like scripts that you've been writing might be coming up this week yeah and then the next half hour could be like us just brainstorming together and we could bring the entire team in if we need to yeah that's cool um but yeah for now like i'm i'm fucking super excited about the direction of everything of course and yeah. waiting for shit to to happen here um but yeah man uh, any if you have any like i don't know how these meetings are supposed to end to be honest but if you have any like questions for me or all right cool yeah i think that's it cool all right um i'm gonna borrow tony real quick Right. We're gonna go get that wood. Um, wood and screws. The table has still flames. Great success. Seems like the editors are the only ones who do 
any of the work around here. We do the heavy lifting and we do the majority. Don't, don't, you working wor on? don't worry about it. <laughs> don't worry about what I'm actually working on. Just know that I'm here in the office at nine, like I'm supposed to be. And you know what? That's, that's more than I can say for some of the higher ups of this company. No one's here. Damn. Just the editors. Just the editors. We use that like fake fireplace in my uh, yeah, in my thing. So we did that. Yeah, we went over to CVS and I was like, wait, like we could definitely fucking smash the upgrade button on s'mores by making the like getting s'mores pop tarts, making those the actual graham crackers for it, and we roasted. We got chopsticks from the Japanese restaurant downstairs to use as, like the fucking holders for the malos. Roasted them shits up, almost burnt the place down, but the s'mores were. Mm. I, I, thought, I thought maybe like you get that you know butane flavor or whatever. No, or no, there were it was like s'mores pop tarts with a Reese's in the middle. Like it was just a lot of flavor. But I was yeah. trying to go to fucking Flavor Town last night. Yeah, so I brought these in, but I realized you don't have. I mean, we could light some sage. <laughs> like try to get some fucking you know sage dust. I'm about mixing the flavors. I feel like sage s'mores might be fire. No See what you do, dude. They this is some bullshit. They made these smaller. They definitely did. And it's not because we got bigger and they look smaller. They definitely got smaller. Maybe I just got... Maybe you guys got big ass hands. I'd be a better quarterback than Kenny Pickett. Look at these shits. But you crack it in half. Use these as the s'more outline. Malo, Reese's. And now you, you can kind of customize the chocolate however you want. Now think big. Think bigger. Oreos and thin Oreos might work. Would you... Hold up. Should we open up a whole s'more shop? Probably not. I think you're getting way too hyped about this, but I'm proud of you. They were good. They were really good. Anyways, that's my should, Sunday one. We should stick to fantasy football. Fuck you guys. Stick to sports. Stick to running payroll. <laughs> is it? Is that threaded? It's a weird screw. Yeah, we can put this yeah, in. Yeah, so you can screw it in. Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's supposed to be on the indented part of it. I'm bringing my second monitor from home. This one, like, it's in like fucking 720p. Can't work like this. It's time, I'm nervous. Nick, we're ready. It's time to do it. What? We gotta, <laughs> we gotta flip this. I have it on, it's gonna be on record right now. I, uh, I have no belief in this table holding. Do you think it's gonna break when we flip it? I do. I don't know if it's gonna break right away, but I don't know if it's gonna be sturdy. You see what I mean? How it's like, we gotta do a clean flip. Tony, we might need you. Actually, we're strong as shit, we're good. Yeah. Look, I didn't know what next to building any cables uh, this time around, so you can see like underneath it. Yeah. No. We can flip to the side for now. It's not gonna, no legs will hit the ground. Yeah. It's just go up high as possible, you know? You can play, you can actually grab one, two, three. Fucking, should I belly flop onto it? I would. Let me do a strength test. I'm gonna put like one coffee down on it. <laughs> yeah, like I still think we need to somehow tighten up the. Dude, it's not bad. It is like. It's definitely wobbly. Uh, like barely though. I feel like you gotta shake it. I think if we put like a rug underneath it and it's, it's like on the stay ground. I think we might be able to just make some fucking podcasts on here, dude. We might just be a fucking media brand. All right. Wonderful. Success for now. <laughs>